Hi, everyone. Um, I'm live at 2 o'clock on Wednesday. I want to come and pray with you today, lead you in, 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 the, time of, uh, in, in the time of prayer. And uh, turn my phone off so it doesn't keep going off. Um, I, you know, today I feel kind of a boldness. I want to kind of bring a boldness in our time of prayer together. I'm preaching Sunday and the uh, next Sunday in the power of the Holy Spirit over fear. And so today I want to pray along that line. Uh, sometimes I don't, during this epidemic, pandemic, I don't know if I've prayed um, enough in, in, in a kind of a, a God get rid of this thing. Um, is, is uh, I read a survey that 50% of Christians across the nation have prayed that Lord would drive this away. So I want to I want to touch on three things today in a boldness of overcoming uh, fear. I want to uh, share uh, some verses from a psalm about God helping us overcome fear because uh, ca caution and wisdom is one thing, but uh, walking in fear uh, about this virus is 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 something else. I want to pray about that. Number two, I want to pray. Uh, for our leaders, our church leaders, our state leaders, our national leaders, to have both wisdom and courage, um, both wisdom and boldness as they um, seek to find a path forward to lead us. And, and, and finally, I want to pray, as God has a way of doing, to take um, uh, what was meant for evil and use it for the good, I want to pray, Lord, whatever you want to change in in, in 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 us, whatever you during this epidemic, whatever you want to change uh, in me and us, do it because I want you to use this time in my life, in my family's life, and um, in my um, uh, church's life, in my faith life. I want you to. I want to come out of this stronger. Uh, I want to come out of this. Um, focus more on my faith and having you in the center of my life. And I want the church and the people of faith, including myself, to be stronger. So before I, I, I pray about overcoming fear, uh, I want um, to read uh, some verses from Psalm 91. Verse 1 and 2, and then verses 5 and 6. Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty, I will say to the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I, I trust. And then going down a little bit, uh, you will not fear the terror of the night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence, the stalks in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. You will not fear. Let's go to God in this Wednesday afternoon pr prayer with faith and with some boldness today. Lord, I love coming to you in prayer. I love bringing the people that are watching my congregation to you in prayer. We are grateful that our trust is in you and that you're stronger, you're bigger, you're mightier than any enemy, including a plague in ter terms of a virus that, that comes along. So first of all, Lord, we want to pray uh, that you help us overcome any fear. Uh, give us wisdom, give us caution, give us discernment, but Lord, help us remember how big you are and how mighty you are, and you have given us the power of the Holy Spirit for the purpose of overcoming fear. We pray that you will work uh, that, that faith and power more and more in us. And number two, Father, we're praying for our leaders, uh, the ones that are um, seeking to lead us in the church, in the in the state, in the in the country, to lead us on a path forward. We pray that you give them wisdom, but you give them boldness too. That you give them uh, uh, discernment, but you give them courage also to move us forward. And find the Lord, we know that you have a way of taking what is meant for evil 
in, uh, or what is evil in using it for the good in your people's lives. So Lord, whatever you're doing, you want to do during this time in us, in our church, so that we're going to come out of this stronger. We give you full permission. Whatever you want to change, if, if we've been going to the left or the right, or not been as focused as much on our faith, we give you permission, Lord, to change us, to transform us during this time. So as we come through this, we as Christians, we as Christians' families, we as the church of Jesus Christ are going to come out of here, out of this time, even stronger. We ask for more and more of the power of your Holy Spirit to fill us, more and more of the power of your Holy Spirit to fill our church, our churches, that um, we might overcome fear. Give us courage. Give us boldness. Give us greater trust in thee. And we will always give you praise and thanks for what you've done in our life, for what you're doing in our life, and hope that what you're going to do in the victory over, over this virus epidemic. Thank you, Lord. And we pray in the name of the King of Kings, the name of the one that is above every name, and that name is Jesus Christ. In his name we pray. Amen. Um, folks, we'll, we'll see you Sunday, which we'll be back virtually. Uh, we'll continue on, on this uh, virtual um, uh, uh, Sundays for a while. Um, Tori and Communications will continue to get something out to you daily so we can stay connected. And let, we'll keep you posted uh, on that time that we start making baby steps towards uh, a little bit of normalcy, but we don't have any definite plans yet or, or definite uh, uh, what the timetable is going to look at like. God bless you. Uh, I'll see you Sunday virtually, and then we'll see you next week. God bless you all. Bye-bye. There was a little um, start.